Hello, today I'm flying my very first flight sky flight we ever got. Um, <clears throat> we were, I was flying it around and it disappeared. I lost sight of it. Turned out it was in a field like a mile away. Uh, ended up finding it about half a year later. This is what's left of it. The wing on top actually kind of disintegrated um, along with the tail here. Here is what's left of our second plane. As you can see, the motor has been salvaged. That was the only salvageable electronic on the whole plane. Uh, it's been gutted, no, nothing's left inside. So this is our second plane. The wing's still in okay shape. And now here's the latest one. <clears throat> I kind of realized that I didn't have enough control. Uh, it would start to get in a little bit of a dive and I just couldn't get out of it. So what I've done, I've added, I've hot glued on a piece of foam here on the elevator and also on the rudder. One of the things I didn't like about the rudder was the plane would go from side to side, but it wouldn't roll like I wanted it to. So sometimes when I was using both the elevator and the rudder, it would start to get into a roll and then I would end up flying the plane like this, constantly using the rudder to keep the plane uh, from sliding down. And it really just was no fun to fly. Um, so what I did, I added this and as you can see, it's cut at an angle. So there's a lot more uh, force in the elevator on top than on bottom and that really makes it roll very well. I can actually get this upside down like this using just a rudder with no ailerons. Uh, let me walk up closer to James so he can give us his expert flight pilot commentary. Talk, James. So I'm flying it. How much better does it fly than it did before? What? Does it fly that much better than it did before? Much more responsive, like oh my! You can just make that. Oh God! Yeah. Don't do that to me. Okay, yeah, well that's flying a lot better than I remember. <sighs> yeah, it just would not stay up. Really? That is one of the most hilarious things. It would be a shame if it really made it nosedive. Can you fly under them? Or does this not have that control? Oh god, I don't know if I wanted to make you do that. <laughs> Jeez, you came close to that pole. Well, well, the Skyfly 2 Mark II is excellent. I was watching through the camera, what was it? I couldn't quite tell. Alright, bring it back over in my... Oh, that would be why I couldn't maintain a stable down. What? It's pulling up a little bit. Oh yeah, you changed it for when you had the camera and you didn't change it back, did you? Not quite far enough. Skyfly 2, Mark 2. <laughs> yeah, I am so lucky. I swear to God it was going to crash into the ground over here. Remember I came upside down? <laughs> you were upside down? I just remembered it's like, okay, it's a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> 
altitude there. I didn't actually realize that was legitimate upside down. Yeah, it was over behind that pole looking like it was going to crash straight oh, into it. Well, this has been our first, hopefully not our last, episode about airplanes because I'm trying to make one and we don't know if it's going to work. We're waiting for a speed, new speed controller to come in. It's a flying wing. It looks like a birth of the stealth fighter and the German Horton wing. I'll put pictures up so you can see. But uh, I guess that's for later. Thank you for watching. Bye.